Hey there, I'm Rodney, Lee Fishing. Today we're on a small lake, and I'm not gonna tell you where I'm at, but it's a small lake, it's publicly accessible here in central Kentucky. Anybody can fish it, but y'all gotta figure out where I'm at. But anyways, today, it's the May, it's, we've just had a full moon in May, so I'm out here looking for some big bluegill, maybe some shell crackers. We might even bass fish a little bit, see if we can't find one on the bed or something, or anything else. So uh, we got a little jig, under a bobber and stuff for the bluegill. We're all artificial on them today. Y'all hang tight, hit that thumbs up if y'all like this. And more importantly, if y'all find something that helps you out in your fishing, hit that subscribe button. Let's go fishing. Folks, big bull bluegill. How about that? We might just take him for a ride for a little bit. How about that? There, folks, there's another big one. How about that? All right, can you all see what's going on right here? There's a bunch of bluegill beds right between that log coming out right there and right here. And all I'm doing is pitching this little old jig in there and they're eating it. Let's see if we can't get another one. One come up there and looked at it. So I'm back here a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Pitch it on back in there. I don't think there's a whole lot of them on this bed here. I don't really see them. swimming around. We're a couple days past the full moon. You'd think they'd be up in there. Pretty hot and heavy. Got many things on back in there. Wasn't paying no attention. One had it. There we go. That one got it. Did y'all see him come up and get it? It's a pretty good one there. There we go. Look at that big bruiser. How about that? There's four. Alright, we're right here on top of this bed. You can see one right there. 
There's another, there's several just around in here. That's what you're looking for. These little divots. And that's where the bluegill are spawning. All right, we caught 10 off of that last bed. So we're going to move on. Um, caught nine big bluegill and a shellcracker off of it. So it's probably good to not wear it completely out. So we're on the hunt now for another spot, and we may just have found one up here. Let's see what happens here. Might be some right there. Had one. Wasn't paying no attention. Now yeah, we got a mess. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's some, I think there's a few right back in there. Let's see what happens. Yep, look at that. That didn't take long. Uh oh. bringing grass and everything on this one. Let's see what we can do here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Got the grass and everything. Oh, that's a shellcracker there. Oh, come on now. Well, the wire's ram, he swallowed it up. Look at that thing. It's a good hand sizer there. Oh my goodness. There it comes. Look at that. Looky there at that big old bluegill. Look at that thing. Number 10. You got some buddies in there. There we go. There's a good fighter. There's another good bluegill. that y'all see him down there in that clear water look at that that's pretty that's pretty that's another shellcracker 
we got shell crackers and bluegill all on the same deal it's five and in if y'all are looking for bluegill beds i don't know if y'all can see this right here there's the little muddy spot right there and i think what's happening is those fish are up there doing their fanning them out and they're making the water a little muddy right there well how was that guys we caught some bass today we caught some, a good mess of bluegill we'll probably eat them up one night this week and uh, maybe fry them suckers up and have a pretty good little feedback going on with them things so anyways that's a good thing to do it's may the bass are still on the nest bluegill are getting on the nest the water was in the upper well mid 60s to upper 60s somewhere in there i saw a little bit of fluctuation today so that's you know they're doing their thing we caught bluegills and shell crackers and uh, there wasn't a whole lot of beds out there, but I think with the full moon coming up here in May, from now until then, there's going to be more of them bluegill and shellcrackers heading to the bank to do their thing and spawn for the year. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Take you a little ultralight rod and a little jig. Just lay it there in the boat while you're bass fishing. Come across some of them kind of little if your water's clear and you got a little muddy water in it it's probably them bluegill down there fanning beds out clearing it out getting ready to do it so look out for it catch you a few get you a good mess of fish if y'all pick something up hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up down there leave me a comment if y'all do this too because something i like to do here in may because bluegill's pretty good to eat shell crackers are pretty a little bit better so get on them even better anyways i'm rodney with e-fishing y'all take care uh, we'll uh, catch y'all on the lake next time we're out